morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Man, we had a windstorm and rainstorm last night. It was wonderful except that at 1230 at night we both woke up from this boom and I thought, I thought, and then it sounded like a freight train. The wind was so bad. Our jacuzzi um, cover got blown off and there were the pads from our um, patio furniture were like blowing all over the yard. So we had to get up, go outside and put a big pieces of wood from our fireplace on top of the jacuzzi so the lid wouldn't blow away. <coughs> it was crazy and it sounded like a freight train, didn't it, Harry? The yep. wind through the trees and we have huge eucalyptus right next to our bedroom and I always freak out because I'm worried about branches but we had the trees thinned this year thinning them and trimming them is very important when you have monsoons and high winds because the wind can get through the tree that way it doesn't make the branches too heavy from the rain and um, make them break so that's the good news I don't think I have to check and see if anything broke as I go to work, but I'm sure there's going to be trees down and power lines down because it was really windy. And there was a, a Maricopa County wind warning, uh, severe warning weather. And we're supposed to have snow up in Flagstaff area too. So that's my grandson uh, goes up there. Mason goes to college up there. So he's probably got some snow today. Betcha, oh, yeah. betcha, I'm sure betcha. Of that. And it's supposed to be cold today, so change of plans, even though I had a dress picked out for today because we're supposed to be dressing uh, corporate. I think this looks as corporate in the winter as I can get. I got my little Clark boots on, huh, Harry? Yep. My little Clark boots for rain. It's my winter weather boots. They're so comfortable, man. They are so comfortable. Anyway, you guys, are you guys doing the stay on track for weight loss challenge in December? If so, today is a protein sparing modified fast, high protein priority day. Eat your protein. Yes, indeed. No more than 10 carbs and no more than 30 grams of fat and move your body. Now, several people are asking me, we are going to do a huge challenge in January, but I'm not going to divulge it yet. I'm not going to go over it yet, but it's going to involve everyone if you guys want to do it. So more on that. Maybe next week I'll start talking about it a little bit more, but yes, we are getting back on track. We are hitting the ground running for 2022. Yes, indeed we are. But you guys, oh, i got to get my drinks. Now, Harry is going to a um, orthopedic surgeon today to see about his hip and his knee because if you guys have noticed, he's trying to walk correctly. Let me count this. He's trying to walk correctly, but his hip and knee, from his, below his knee, from below his knee, his hip and around his back, well, your iliopsoas muscle, iliopsoas muscle goes down and goes down through here. And when I had my uh, hip, when I tore my labrum in my hip socket, I couldn't tell from below my knee up and around my back what exactly, I thought it was everything because this knee, my right knee has had uh, three orthoscopic surgeries. Yeah. And then I had a, a torn labrum in my hip and then I ended up having to get a hip replacement because I had a bone spur the size of my thumb on my thumb sticking out of it and I had another bone spur on the inside and the doctor said man if I had rotated it wrong could have snapped that piece of, of two inch bone spur off and there was absolutely it was so bone on bone and my labrum that surgery didn't work so I had mine so I know what Harry is going through and you know when it gets to the point where you can't put on your socks you can't get your foot in your pants you need to go see Oh, I've been talking and not doing my stuff, and i got to think about iodine. what I'm doing here. Put your no, iodine I did in. iodine. Yep, iodine. That's your mixed berry. Strawberry's almost out. I ordered more for uh, the uh, Black Friday sale, mm -hmm. you know, Cyber Monday sale. 
we stocked up on a lot of stuff, but it hasn't come yet um, from the manufacturers. Perfect Keto and Real Light. You know, got to stock up on that stuff, especially since everybody's prices are going up. It's just because of supply and demand and the supply chain and everybody's charging more. Oh, and, and gas prices. Yes, and, and gas. And trucking I mean, prices. Truckers. Here, I see a ring that I forgot. I left, I left my little rose ring yesterday here. Yeah. Today I got my 1928 jewelry and a Sarda ring, and it happens to match. Pretty, yeah. Pretty teal. Pretty teal. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Let me put my lunch away. Thank you, Harry, for packing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Anyway, you guys, I want to remind everybody that everything you have to eat the day before, sometimes two days prior, with Harry having food poisoning, you know, for and getting well over this past week and a half, has left him, like he says, he hasn't gone to the bathroom since he finally got through with the food poisoning because everything was flushed clean as a whistle inside so he his body is getting back into a normal cycle again and it really hasn't cycled through normally he's taking his probiotics twice a day get that gut flora and bacteria back on track too and that can have a direct effect on your weight loss um a lack of sleep stress in your life you know waking up out of a dead sleep because you think something hit your house in the middle of the night like we did. Having to get dressed because it's freezing cold. The wind was blowing the rain sideways outside, huh, Harry? Yep. Just to go put stuff back in order so you can get back to bed. It was, it was a crazy night. And then the night before, me dropping the glass and the meat and having to deal with that. So, yeah. A lot of things, a lot of things, but that can have a direct effect on your weight. So can over-the-counter medicine, naproxen, Aleve, Tylenol, um, Benadryl. <coughs> this is uh, cold and flu season, you know, any over-the-counter medicine. So you guys, throat. don't get too upset, you know, just move through it and know that if you're taking something like that, you know, it can have a direct effect. So yesterday was a little different for me, you guys. I had two slices of protein bread with two tablespoons of jam. I had my chicken thigh. I made a um, no sugar honey mustard dressing that Melanie Hine from Princess Ninja and Keto uses all the time. I didn't have any, um, I forgot to add a little bit of uh, vinegar to it, but it was delicious. I made a lovely pork loin roast last night and I made, um, actually it ended up being loaded broccoli and cauliflower. I made a cauliflower broccoli and I put an ounce of cheese and I put a dollop of sour cream light on that. I had collagen and MC2 oil, but you guys, they brought down the rest of the fruit platter that our board did not eat and it had beautiful berries on it. And I thought, I haven't had strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries in years. I had three strawberries two blackberries and seven blueberries. I counted them. So my carb total yesterday was 24 grams. It was a little bit higher because of these, because of the cauliflower, because of the broccoli and the cheese. I had 68 grams of fat and 132 grams of protein. My total calories were 1,239. I haven't been able to get my calories up into the 1200s, but I did yesterday and it was absolutely delicious. I was super full, super happy, and the berries were like, mmm, so good. Man, they were good. They really were. Harry had two slices of protein bread, two tablespoons of jam. He had 6.5 ounces of ground beef with two teaspoons mayo, tablespoon of mustard. He had eight ounces of the pork loin. He would have eaten that entire pork oh, easy. He just, like, can I have some more? One cup broccoli and cauliflower with the ounce of cheese, sour cream light. So he had the loaded broccoli cauliflower, collagen, and key two creamer. He had 19 carbs, 73 grams of fat, 170 grams of protein. Nice, yeah, very nice, nice day. And you had 1,376 calories, you guys. That pork loin, mwah, oh, it was, it was so good. so good. It was so good. And Harry, today when you eat your bread, look, I've got this bread is cut 
right here. Mm -hmm. I've got some, you can have four pieces if you want because it's a protein sparing modified fast day. That's perfect because of all the egg whites. Now, how did we do yesterday? I went down and I was so happy because I had a few pieces of fruit and a little bit of cheese. Went down to 178, 174.8, so I went down two tenths. Harry neither went up nor down. Yeah, I didn't you know, anymore. but I know that, you know, he's still recuperating and I'm sure his body has pulled a ton of water because once you do that, you're dehydrating. When you're pushing stuff through both ways, you know, your body is pulling with the water and now it's replenishing itself. It's, it's, it's calming down, you know, and then it needs to get back on track. We have not done the big board in a few days. Let's do it real quick. It's exactly 6.30, so you got to just kind of get going. How you doing, Harry? Okay. Are you looking forward to going to a uh, orthopedic surgeon finally to figure out what yeah. the heck's going on? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I need to go find out what to do. Okay, let's take a peek. Um, so, yeah, just start with this, like yeah. Day. I mean, this four days I was gone. Um, well, you were you were drinking liquids and you were having yeah, yeah. liquid keto chow and soup and and, and bone I, broth. Yeah, everything liquid. So right. So just liquid, 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 man. But we ate quite a bit yesterday. We did, and it was you delicious. Know? And I had a lot of pork loin because look at that protein, one seventy. It was was it one seventy or one seventy nine? One seventy. Okay. Yeah, and I even yeah. look one thirty two for me. I know. So really, really good, man. Really, really good. Good on that sense, but. Uh, I basically am just doing my thing. Your base is, you went down some that was good. I did. I did. And I was you're worried. Start on that finally going down. I again. think so. Well, stress from you and not uh -huh. sleeping with you and sleeping on the recliner, recliner couch in the den instead of our bed. And we did a lot of camping out for you. Yeah. Here you go, honey. But I'm going to. But this is what's really important, I think, <coughs> it's right in here because it kind of tells a story about everything up here. Yes, it does. It really does. Yes, it does. So anyways, let's, let's get you going. Okay. Yes, it does indeed, you guys. So things happen in your life. Life happens. And just staying ketogenic, eating foods that will keep you in ketosis is very important. It really is. So I need to get to work today, you guys, and I will share everything that happens. Harry will share. We'll share tonight, Harry, what happens. You know, once you get done with the doctor. Mm -hmm. Don't know what parts Harry can do and not do today because he doesn't know what the doctor's going to order for him to do x-ray-wise or test-wise yeah, or yet. any of those things. That's so, probably beyond that much today. Yeah, we're going to play it by ear and see. Anyway, everybody, hope you guys are having a great day today. We will see everybody in the next segment, but I have to go to work now. Goodbye. <laughs>
I think she was on, is Pamela McCoy on QVC when she was doing all her coats and her faux furs and all that stuff? Well, in Washington, I had like 20 coats of different layers. And this one is perfect because it's just a lightweight uh, rain coat. And I love it, but I think I'm going to have to get it tailored because I don't want to give it away because I do love it. Anyway, you guys, I've got my coffee. Mm. Mm. It's only supposed to get into the high 50s today. I guess we're getting an Arctic wind. <clears throat> an Arctic wind. Look, Deborah, I got my little gnome still up there in the corner. Can you see it right there that you made me? <laughs> I met... Uh, yeah, there he is. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to look through my camera and talk at the same time, and I'm not very good at that, so. And then looking backwards, it's like looking in the back of a mirror backwards, right? Trying to point to something. It's like you think you should be pointing left and you need to point right. That's about what it is. Anyway, you guys, I've got my coffee. I'm gonna take my vitamins and I'm gonna get my day started. How's everybody doing? What's the weather like where you're at? Have you guys got any Arctic storms coming in? Man, it just, like I said, it rained to beat the band, and that wind sounded just whipping through the backyard. Got to go check it out later today. I got to get Harry um, the address to the doctor, though, so I've got to send that to him right now, and I've got to drink my coffee. Look, peacock. Makes me happy. Yes, it does. Ah, oh, man, and that's hot today. Love it. Mm -hmm. Look at all the stuff I have to put up with every day during the holidays and every other time. I have to move all this stuff out of the way so I have room to do my toast. Yes, indeed. Well, you guys, it's 9 o'clock. I'm having some tea and toast. Yes, indeed green tea and my high protein easy bread absolutely delicious with um, sugar-free raspberry jam on that but anyway you guys I'm going to enjoy this it's 9 a.m. and Harry's on his way to the orthopedic surgeon right as we speak so gotta eat this while it's warm and my hot tea is hot Hey, yeah, I'm not going to be in the video that much today because I'm, it's, it's all doctor time for me today, man. I'm just running all around seeing all the doctors. I've got a couple. They only, plus for my leg, they want me to do an MRI, um, uh, basically to make sure there's, you know, so they, could, they saw the x-rays that I did. I had some x-rays I had to have taken first. Then they saw the x-rays. They said, okay, so it looks like you've got some space in between the bones in there, you know. And, uh, but we can't tell from an x-ray, you know, how much arthritis you have in there. They did see a little like pointy spike that went up that when I got on that Matterhorn ride and I put my legs way up because that's the new Matterhorn ride. The, the seats in it are terrible. You have to be able to stretch your legs out. Now they want you fold your legs up. So they think that's where I probably hit it at and that's probably when it caused the problem. So anyways, uh, hopefully, maybe it'll go away, you say. Maybe you get lucky, it'll go away, and I doubt that very seriously. But anyway, he wanted me to do the MRI. He wants me to do the MRI, which, my gosh, you know how long it takes to get in to get a stupid MRI nowadays? It's going to be like till uh, January 10th next year before I can get in there and get this thing looked at. It's nuts. So I'll, I'll do that. And what are, you, what are you doing here? I don't know. I, I just showed up. I'm hungry. I don't care. That's typical. But I want to eat. Ugh. No, 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 no. You don't get it. You shouldn't be here. This is... This is... Maybe so, but uh, I'm hungry. Go get something to eat. I can't eat till you eat. What do you mean you can't eat till I eat? That's the way it works, Bunky. Okay, look, that's, uh, that's neither here nor there, all right? Listen, just go, go, just go. Let, I'm talking to everyone. I'm not going anywhere. 
Just go. 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 Vanish. Let's eat then. All right. Listen, I gotta get I gotta get over to this other doctor, so I'm gonna I'll talk to you guys later tonight. Hopefully I'm having something good to eat, because you know what? I haven't had time to stop eating. I'm hungry. No wonder he's bothering me. Go away! It's not happening. Alright. So you know, I'll talk to you guys a little later, okay? I gotta I gotta get I'll talk to you later. Better go. I'm coming with you. And it's Ginger Root Beer, horseradish mustard, and two chicken thighs. Yes, indeed. It's what's for lunch. Yum. You know what that means? Gotta eat now. Hey everybody, I am home from work and man, is it a cold, brisk day outside. It was in the 50s all day. Oh it was sunny. Oh my God, it was so cold. But it was so cold, it was like 59 degrees and I'm freezing. My little hands had little gloves on. Had Actually, little... It was cold. It made my hip ache. Did it? Yeah. Anyway, you guys, I want to make some more of my protein power flour because I have a recipe in mind. But first I have to make the flour. Now I made two loaves of uh, my uh, high protein bread night before last. So I've got some bread here and I'm just going to take it. Look at this. Is that your down. three? So this is the 3.1 version. Oh, okay. I posted it on the video yesterday and I pinned it to the comments because I've added the 20 grams of whole egg, whole dried egg powder to the version 3.0. So this all I'm doing is I am cutting these into nice thin slices. Look at this beautiful bread and this tastes so good. Oh God, it's good tasting bread. I know it is, but I, I need flour for what I need to make. So I'm gonna make some flour and something about cooking the bread and then making the flour from the bread. It's like a uh, panko, bread crumbs, right? Um, it just tastes so much better from a good loaf of bread. So. If you have a dehydrator, if uh, you uh, have a different way of drying your bread, as long as you get your bread totally dry, um, it works. I have our oven. Um set to 250 degrees and I'm just cutting these into little pieces they don't have to be perfect you can tear them you don't even have to cut them I think the smaller they are little cubes it's like making croutons or uh, dressing or stuffing right you want them toasted so that's what I'm doing yeah and I also think that these smaller they, they just they are cook gonna, better. The, the faster they dry out. And the yes, and they the, do. And they get done quicker. Yes, the, they do. Now, one thing about your bread, you guys do not have to use the allulose at all in your bread when you're making your bread, uh, you're making your protein power flour if you don't want to. I know a lot of you that live in Canada, um, allulose is like gold, so don't use it. You don't need it. And actually, you won't get... I only used a tablespoon in my new uh, 3.1 version. And this is how it turned out. I was, like, amazed that I even got brown at all, let alone this beautiful... And this is really yummy bread. Yeah, it is. I it mean, really is. It is yummy bread. I could just sit here and eat that. Oh, yeah. Like this. It, it's really good. But. Mm. And Sally likes it God, too. God, great flavor. The it texture does. is fabulous. It does. I just love adding. Oh, see, she heard. She heard. One piece of bread? Yes, she does. Can you see ten Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this goes in the oven. I'm just going to put it on the top. 
And excuse my oven. My oven needs to be clean, but Harry's the one who cleans it. I can't and get he down, can't right get down there right now. So we're just dealing with it. Just don't look. No judge. Well, they can come over and clean it. So I have two recipes. Raise your hands if you want to come clean my oven. Be careful what you ask. Somebody may just show up at your doorstep and say, <laughs> I'm here to clean your oven. Uh, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um. She lost watch, the train Well, no, I have to watch what I'm doing. I don't want to cut my hand. Oh, that would be, yeah. That, that would be yeah, devastating. Really, you and knives anyways. Yes, man. so let me. Think about what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. I have several recipes I want to do. One, I have a some seasoning that has to come from Amazon and it's coming soon and as soon as that comes I'm going to be making it but this recipe someone asked me to make and I'll talk about the recipe once I get my protein power flour you guys are just going to have to wait to see that's all I'm saying my mind's going crazy with the protein uh, power flour anyway and I want to make some savory things with it. So I have a couple of people who said we love all the sweets, but we'd like to see some more um, savory meals. And I agree. So that's what I am doing. Although I am going to make more of the gingerbread cookies because those were phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I happen to have some gingerbread, and that's what I'm making because I loved them. Didn't we, Harry? Oh, yeah, they were really good. You know, every cookie make... I've made, every time I make a new cookie, Harry says, now this is the best one. Oh, yeah. Now this is the best one. I do, one. I do. It's Now true. this is the best one. It's funny. But I bought all those chips, so i got to make more cookies with them. So... This bread is so tastes so good. It does. I and just, it's got such great texture. It's. I just oops, it's this. There's a frog in the room. This whole. It's just delicious. You know, I am really excited about the recipes I have in mind too, and I know you guys will be too because you guys asked for them. But first, we got to dry these out. So that's what I'm doing. There you go. Second half. Into the oven it goes. So, you know, I think I should probably, well, I don't, know. I don't think good. it matters. I'm going to set it for 20 minutes. And then I'm going to come and stir it. I'm going to come and stir it. But you guys, this bread cook this bread was so easy and I made them one right after the other in the same pot look at this in the same mixing bowl it's just it's yeah, just lovely doesn't indigo do that uh yes and I think uh, there was somebody else that did that but uh indigo Nelly was the one who said just use your same bowl and don't clean you don't need to clean the mixer when you make it right with the yeah, um yeah so I did it that way, and I had two loaves in the oven. It was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. Okay, you guys, we'll come back when I make, attempt to make drop biscuits with my flour. Yes, indeed. We've got to wait to get the protein power flour when it's ready. So, the timer is off. I cooked it for about 40 minutes on 250 because the bread was pretty moist. So let's take this out of the oven and let it cool down and see how much it, it uh, shrinks up. It does shrink because we're pulling the moisture out of it. You gotta give them the snap test. Yeah, gotta give them the snap test, but I gotta let them cool off first. Now, I wanna let, I'm gonna turn my oven on and here, excuse me. I'm gonna pull the rack up. Okay, turn the 
bring this on 350. Thanks. You want it to snap. Try to snap. Here. Give it a little Sally. Mmm. Croutons. Once they're cool, then we can whip them. We can grind them up. You feel dry enough here, everything? Yeah. I think so. Hope they sound dry. Yeah. Sound, sound crispy to me. So it says, I'll take any you throw down on the floor, Mom. That's okay. She loves this bread. It's so funny. You mentioned the word bread, and she like looks at Harry. She looks at me, and then she runs into the kitchen. Like, yep. That's where the bread is. Bread and ice cream. And, of course, meat. Got quite the vocabulary. Ooh, look at this nice little crumblet. A little crunchy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's grind this down. You would. How about chocolate? all of them drilled down to the middle and then I'm going to whip it up high. Just checking it out. going to um it looks pretty fine to me i am going to measure out 59 grams i want to see it 59 grams excuse me i need a spoon Fifty-nine grams. Now I'm going to pour this into my little jar that I have left. I am I'm making. Not on yet. I said go. Go, Marty. <laughs> Being naughty. Nah. It's Marty. Okay, nah. I am making the Keto Chow Drop Biscuits. The recipe can be found on www.ketochow.xyz. It makes five biscuits. But instead of using one half cup of almond flour, which is 59 grams, I am using my protein power flour. And they, I, I measured it in grams. I need one packet of savory chicken uh, soup keto chow. I'm using one teaspoon baking powder, two tablespoons cold butter, four large eggs whisked with a fork. Now my eggs, I'm doing 184 grams of that. So let me get my eggs, put them in, and whisk them. I'm trying to be precise in the measurements, you guys, because this is an experiment. Now, almond flour has, I'm thinking, more fat in it, so... Um, Hoping this works. Uh, uh, almond flour, 184 grams. Here we go. There we go. Now, it says to whisk. So I'm going to whisk. What does it say? Mix until. Sorry, folks, I'm reading this. Whisk with a fork. With a fork. I want frothy egg whites. I'm going to add some air. That's what we're doing. I'll come 
back to my egg whites. I'm going to put my savory keto chow into my dry mix with my protein power flour. I am going to use a teaspoon of baking powder. Teaspoon baking powder. Hmm. Baking powder. Now here's my dilemma. Do I add a teeny bit of xanthan gum or not to these biscuits? Because Keto Chow has acacia gum in it and I use a little xanthan gum in my uh, Wendy's uh, 3.0 bread. I'm not going to use it. I was thinking about using it, but I don't think I will. So, uh, thinking, thinking. Mixing all this up. Mm, I'm thinking an eighth of a teaspoon. I think I am going to use it. Quarter of a teaspoon. For five biscuits, I'm using a quarter of a teaspoon. Well, a little bit. Well, actually, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't want them too, too dry and flaky. I want them a little bit stick to itiveness. I'm going to get two, two tablespoons of this butter. This is sweet, unsalted butter. Keto Chow has a salt in it, so you don't need to worry about the biscuits having salt. There's salt in the protein power flour as well. A tablespoon of butter is 14 grams. Let me see how close I've come to the butter. Oops, 18. You said 14, right? Yes. 14 and 14 is 38. No, 28. 28. Thank you. Now, I'm going to put gloves on because I'm going to cut this with my hands because it's just easier for me. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to break this butter up into smaller cubes in the pan. Now, I'm just going to go in there and smash my dough in the bread, protein, power flour. and so just like kneading it? Yes. I'm just squishing the butter up and blending it in with the dry mixture, you guys. I'm cutting the butter, and it needs to be cold butter. It needs to be cold, and we need to co incorporate this throughout the dough. So we'll come back in just a minute. This feels lovely, you guys. Look, see the butter incorporated really nice. That's the protein powder flour. I'm gonna get my eggs and whip them just a little bit more. Pour that in. Just incorporate this into the batter, sealing the batter, making sure it feels moist enough. Drop biscuits are a little bit uh, crumblier and softer dough, but this so far feels really nice. Hmm. I'm getting excited now. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So now it says, Form about two inch rounds and placed on prepared baking sheet. Is that like the same size kind of? Yeah. You guys, these feel like drop biscuit dough. I am I am amazed that this feels 
like drop biscuit dough. I mean, it feels like I'm, I'm getting excited here because I love drop biscuits. We're gonna have these with our pork chop, with our uh, pork loin tonight. Which one All looks right. like it needs a little bit? This one? They all look pretty dang good. Pretty good? Yeah. Okay, you guys, those are my drop biscuits. I'm, I'm really getting excited. Oh, oh boy. Man. So, I put Tip, this in the right oven. Right here. Look at that, you guys. Oh, I'm excited, aren't you? Don't you guys want some drop biscuits? Excuse me. These need to cook for 17 to 20 minutes. I'm going to cook them for 17. Check them. Guys, I'm excited. It felt just like drop biscuits. I mean, it was just like it just, it just feels like flour. I'm so excited everybody. We'll come back when we have drop biscuits. Yes indeed. So I've decided I want gravy to go with our meal tonight. So I am gonna use um, beef bone, beef soup base from Keto Chow and make a protein spray mo uh, modified fast lean gravy. I'm gonna use 12 ounces of water, which is one and a half cups of water. Keto chow, which is 12 ounces. Each scoop of keto chow should be made with 14 ounces, but I'm making gravy. I want it a little thicker. I want it a little denser. So I'm gonna get a scoop. Just put my keto chow right in there. I'm gonna just whisk it together real quick. Now, I'm going to let it heat up and it'll get, well, of course, Wendy, you don't have an apron on. I'm going to add a few things to this because we are having pork and I love poultry seasoning and poultry gravy with pork. I just love the taste. I am putting in about, about that much, about a teaspoon. Need a little bit of salt. Need a little bit of pepper. I love these. These are wonderful. Thank you so much for the gift. And I believe Harry's gonna put that on. It's in there it's already. In. So I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic, just a little bit and a little bit of onion just a little bit you guys can measure it but i really don't need to i just kind of eyeball what i put in and it works i'm gonna heat this and we'll come back when it's gravy biscuits and i need to get out the pork so harry i need you to help me stir while i get the pork out how's that sound i let them cook for 20 minutes 17 to 20, and I let them cook for 20. They weren't ready at 17. Oh my, look at this. Ooh. Okay, now. That's hot. Hmm. Well, you know what? What? Oh, it's just in an oven. I know, I know, you guys. I want to let them cool for about five minutes while I make the pork loin. So, I've got leftover pork loin. Mom's here, she wants a little bit. I think I'm gonna put all the pork loin I have leftovers and I'm just gonna get some out and put it over here. And then I'm gonna nuke it and I've got gravy and we've got drop biscuits. So let me get a couple of these nice pieces here. We're just gonna nuke them for a little bit just to get them warmed up. How many slices do you want, Harry? Oh, whatever I can have. 
Well, you always say that. Well, you know, dish out everybody, and then, you know, there's quite a bit there, actually. There is. So I'll take, like, I three or four. How about four? And okay, I'll, I'll give Mom. Four. She's, I think I'll give her two. Because she's not a big eater tonight. So I'm just going to nuke this right here. Watch out, Sally's right underneath you. But I'm very pleased at the look of the biscuits. Gonna heat them for about a minute. These look and smell delicious, don't they, Harry? Oh, yeah. Look at my drop biscuits, you guys. Ooh. Yeah. Should we cut one open? Yeah, let's check it out. Should we do a taste test? Yeah, I want to check it out. Okay. Cuts like a biscuit. Oh, look at that, you guys. Look at that. I am so jazzed. Aren't you oh, yeah, jazzed? It's really good, doesn't it? Mmm, I always like the top of the biscuit. So I'm going to see yeah, if I got... Yeah, why is that? I don't know. I just do. So here we go. Take some butter. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. That's a bus oh, biscuit without butter. Trying to get butter on every bite now. Let's give it a taste test, shall we? Does it work? This is a drop biscuit all day long. Oh my gosh. Harry, you've got to have a bite of that. Oh my gosh, I am so jazzed. So much better than almond flour. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smell it. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, oh my goodness. It does. The outside, you know how it got that flavor? Yes. Mm. Isn't that got the crust? The crust is just, and it's chewy and moist inside oh with that God. butter. Well, go ahead. Mm. Mm. Okay, that oh, was. That's it. That's it. Drop biscuits, folks. Here you go. Wow. I'm kind of a little amazed there. You guys, I am amazed. Just a reminder. I did the keto chow drop biscuits exactly. Instead of the one half cup almond flour or 59 grams, I used 59 grams of my protein power flour. The only other thing I did differently is I added one quarter teaspoon. I want to make sure that's what I got. Yeah, because this is like... One quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. And you guys, it is... It will Drop biscuits away. all day long. Heavenly deliciousness. It really, really is. Anyway, you guys, we are going to have pork loin with gravy and drop biscuits. But i got to have this. Look at that. Look. I know. It's Look really at the amazing, texture. Man. Look. That's up. Look at that. Man. Mm mm. Here. Have a bite. Mm. Mm. Man. That's so good. It's got that whole thing. And it's got it. the whole bread. It's got the chew. It's, it's got, got the taste. It's so, got the breadiness. Yeah. It's so good. It is just that good, you guys. Man. It's like a. I don't know. It's a biscuit. Yeah. With butter. Oh, exactly. And then what I did here is I made turkey gravy. Super duper easy. 
some pork gravy, herb gravy. Nice. I'm a gravy girl. Mm. I love sauces, gravy, butter. Man, you guys, I am amazed. Those at, are they freaking amazing. They are amazing. Amazing. With Wendy's protein power flour, you guys can make real drop biscuits. You can use your recipe and just exchange that almond flour, coconut flour, mix it. It inflames Harry and I, and mm. we don't like the taste. And use the protein power flour. Well, it tastes just it like it's just like it was made amazing. Of regular flour. It is amazing. Now, I think we need to try some with just jam. Just jam. Because today is a protein sparing modified fast day, and we used a little butter in mm -hmm. with this to make it. I want to keep it as lean as possible. These biscuits don't need anything on them. They really don't. No, they're, oh. They're they are good. The crust, that buttery crust, the bottom, the chewiness, the fluffiness in the center is drop biscuit all day long, all day long. Oh yeah. Man. Mm. I, I'm gonna say it, it, it's the best. Biscuit I've ever best made. Biscuit you, yeah. Well, you haven't had a real one in yeah. over two years. Well, so. I know, but uh, believe me, that flavor. It's good. It's got the flavor, it's got the taste, it's got the chew. Anyway, everybody, we're going to go ahead and say goodnight because we've got some food to eat here. Let's remember, let's see what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow is, I'm going to get out of the way, 16-hour fast or 8-hour window, regular keto foods day. Use your macros, take a walk. And this almost tastes like you're using a slight wheat flour with it. It does, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's like a just, whole wheat, it's like drop biscuit, homemade deliciousness yeah. it really is that good you guys so oh I know I heard you <laughs> please remember to like subscribe ring the little bell give us a thumbs up we'll see you right here tomorrow you guys need to make drop biscuits yes indeed get some drop biscuits back in your life and guess what I've got some sausage out. I'm going to make sausage biscuits and gravy too, but I also want to make cornbread. I've got so many things I want to make for you guys. Just come back tomorrow and see. Good night, everyone. Yes, can you say good night? Good night. <laughs> Are you going to say good night? She did while well, I was not a yawn. You say good night. You say good night with a yawn. Oops. Mommy threw it. Get some liver. How about some liver carnivore dog, huh? Do you like liver? Say goodnight. Okay, goodnight. <laughs> I was sneezing while I was saying goodnight. Oh,